Hi all, welcome to clickshare.com. Today I'll show you how to add simple custom features to your chart. Let's say you wanted to add a checkbox or a button so that you can control, show or hide the value on data point setting or the property on your chart. This will be very useful feature for users to control, show or hide data point setting on your chart. There are two ways to get this functionality working. First method is without using VB scripting. However, by this method, I need to use two charts. So the first method is without using VB scripted. However, I'll be using two charts to get this functionality working with the first method. And second method is my preferred method where I'll be using VB scripting. I understand that some of you don't prefer using VB scripting, but but personally, for me, it is very useful to add little functionality like this and providing that extra user experience. So let's get started. So I'll quickly demonstrate how it works with both the methods. So on the left hand side, you will see the first method and on the right hand side, you will see the second method, which uses the VP script. So I'll quickly walk you through with the process on how to set up this functionality. So I've created a button and then I'm using a variable. So I'll quickly show the variable overview window. And there's a variable called hide data points. And V is the prefix which I use as a standard practice for all the variables. So this variable right now holds the show value. I'll tell you what it means in a moment. So I'll quickly click on OK. And let's look at the event triggers. Click on properties and under the actions tab, I'm using a set variable action and it is using my variable, which is v hide data points and using a simple expression, which holds an if condition. If this variable holds hide, then make it show or if it's already show, then change it to hide. So it's a simple straightforward if condition. So that, let's click on OK. And you also need to control the text on the button. So I've used the same variable and concatenated data points as string. So the text changes based on if the values are hidden on the chart, it will show show data points. And if the values are shown on the data points, it will have a text saying hide data points. So that's pretty neat straightforward again uh, by using the same variable. So let's click on OK. So if I click on the button show data points now, it shows my data points on the chart. However, this is my second chart. So if I right click and click on properties. So if you see the condition here, so I'm saying that show this chart only if the condition says we hide data points equals to hide or else don't show it. So that's the technique. And if I click on hide data points, it shows up my original chart. And if I click on show data points, it shows my chart. So this is a useful technique, but I personally, for me, I would never prefer to use two charts. So to overcome that problem on the right hand side, I've created a single chart object. I've created a list box, which is shown as a checkbox and then a small text here. So if I click on this checkbox, it, it shows the value and it hides it. So even this text can be toggled like this text. So I'll, I'll show you the VB script so that you have full understanding about the code. I'll also provide this code on my blog post. So I'll quickly show the VP script. So let me click on tools, click on edit module. So it's a simple subroutine. I'll explain you each line of code so that you have full understanding. So with the first line, I'm setting a variable called set my graph and I'm using my active document dot get sheet object. 
So get sheet object is a method under document class. And I'm passing the my chart property number. So it is CH02 in this case. And the second line is I'm extracting my chart properties. So again, I'm setting up a variable saying my graph properties equals to my graph, which is my first variable dot get properties. Again, this is a key method here. Get properties is a method under graph class. And in the next line, I'm using set my expression toggle equals to my graph properties, which is my second variable dot expressions and dot item of zero dot item of zero dot data and dot expression visual. So just to remind you, item is an array property of multiple classes. So that's why I passed in zero value here. So it's a zero based array. And in the next line and checking the condition, if my expression toggle dot numbers on bars. So this is again a property. And this is a key property where it controls value on data points. So if this value is false, then I'm setting it to true. Else change it to false and if. So this is my conditional statement. And the first three lines are, you're setting up your variables. And finally, I'm using my graph dot set properties. So this is again set properties is a method. And I'm using my graph properties, which is my second variable. And finally, ends up. So let's click on OK. And let's click on the checkbox. Yeah, it works. DB scripting sometimes is very useful to add little functionality like this. So I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.